Welcome back. This is a brief Godot 3 tutorial on making draggable windows using Godot's UI nodes. So recently I was helping a student try and get something working. It was very similar to this, and I thought it might be useful to everyone out there. So here's a quick video on how to make draggable windows that behave the way you would expect them to if you click on them and drag them around. So to start here, I've got a texture rect. That's a control node. This, that I'm using to simulate my window. And I've just taken a screenshot of the Godot website to be the window. And so when the game runs, we want to be able to click and drag and move this window like you would do in the operating system. So I'm calling this window. It's going to represent one window in my main scene, which might have any number of windows in it. And we're using a texture rect because it's a control node. And control nodes are really designed for handling user input. You could do this with a sprite instead to display the texture, but handling the click and drag events is going to be a little bit more cumbersome with a sprite. So the texture rect, we're going to add a script to it, and I've started out by just adding a tooltip to it so that when we hover over it when the game is running, it'll display the name of the node. And that way when we have multiple windows, we'll be able to see their names. So to detect the dragging, we need to keep track of whether we're in the dragging state or not. And we're going to do that with a variable. So I'm going to call this drag position. And it's going to represent the location where I clicked when I started dragging. So if it's null, I am not in the dragging state. And we're going to detect that click using the Windows GUI input signal, which is a signal that all control nodes have. And so we're going to connect that signal. And what we want to do when this event comes in, and I'm going to rename this to event so that we are clear on what that is, is if it's a mouse button click, then we want to say if event is input event mouse button. And I'm just going to leave it at that right now. So we'll use whatever mouse button you click. So you can use right mouse, left mouse. So either it's pressed or it's released. So if event.pressed, then we want to start the dragging. So this is start dragging. And we're going to set the drag position equal to the relative position of the mouse in the window. So we want that's what we want it. We want the window to stick to the mouse where you clicked it. So the relative position is the global mouse position minus the rect global position, which is the location of the top left corner of the control. And since that line's a little bit long, let me go into distraction free mode here so you can see the whole window. So now our drag position is the point in the window where we clicked. And then we're going to say, if we didn't click the button, we let go of it, then we want to end, we want to end the dragging. And we're going to do that by setting the drag position back to null. And then the other mouse event that we want to handle is when you move the mouse while you're dragging. So this, this time, if we get a mouse motion event and drag position has a value, it's not null, then we are dragging. So we want to update the position of the rectangle. So we want to take the global position and set it equal to the reverse, basically. We're going to take the global mouse position and we're going to subtract the drag position. And that's it. So if we were to run this scene, we would have a window that we can click and drag. Now there's just one other thing we need to do. We go over to our main scene here and we're going to instance the window in there. I'm going to call this window 1 and then I'm going to duplicate it and add two more and I'm going to change the texture on these because I've captured a couple of different windows just so we have a little bit of variety. We have a terminal window and a file, uh, you know, finder window and a and one for the browser. So now when we run this, 
each of the windows will drag when we click on it. But now our problem is that we want whichever one we click on to rise to the front. Right? We don't want to be dragging behind, so I want to be able to change which one is on top. So there's a couple different ways to do that. If I want window 1 to be on top, it needs to be drawn last, so it needs to be at the bottom of the tree. So, so we want to be able to change this order whenever we click. So if we go back over into our script, we're going to add a signal called move to top. We're going to emit that signal whenever we click. So right here, when we clicked on the window and started dragging, we're going to emit the signal, move to top, along with a reference to the node itself, because main needs to know which window to move to top. I just want to have one function that's going to handle this signal, and it'll move whichever window tells it to, to move it to the top. So if we go back over to our main scene now, get back out of the zoom window, go back over to our main scene and we're going to add a script. And in here, we want to do, we just want to handle that signal. And I want to, so I need to connect the signals from each of these to main. And I could do that in the GUI, but if you have a bunch of, if you have a whole bunch of windows added here, you don't want to have to click on each one, one after another. So in the ready, we're going to connect them in code. So we're going to say get children. And for each of those windows, we're going to connect. So we're going to connect the move to top signal to a function in ourself called move window to top. OK. And so when we take that, I forgot my quote mark there. So we take this and we're going to define this function. It takes a node. Right, we're going to be passed a node to it. And so I want that to move. We just want to move the child that we clicked on to the bottom of the tree. So get child count minus one. And that's, that means which position we want to put it in. So get child count is three. This is position zero, one, and two. So we want to move, if I click on window one, I want it to move to position two. So let's see what that looks like. So now this one's on top. I click on this one, it moves to top. And if I click on the browser, it moves to top. You can see that happening if we look at the remote tree while we're moving things around is you can see the window order change there. Let's see, this is window three. That's window one over there. I click on that, it moves to the bottom. So that's it. I hope you found this tutorial useful. Hopefully it'll help you when you get to the point where you need to make draggable windows in your game's UI. If you found it useful, please click subscribe below, and I'll see you in the next video.